what's up everybody if you are new welcome to my channel if you are not new welcome back and to my new subscribers hey girl hey how are y'all doing so as you can see today we're going to be doing some dip powder nails i'm using my dip liquids from uh revel nail and um I'm going to be using two different colors. So the green one is from SNS. I do not know if I will be able to link it down below because I purchased these as like a, um, a, um, one of my YouTubers that I follow. She was like decluttering her dip powder supply. Um, her name on YouTube is Carol Annette. I don't think she posts as much as she used to anymore. But um, she was like cleaning out her dip, her dip powder supplies to make room for more. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think she started a press on business. So um, she was doing like a little bundle where you could pay like $10, $20. And she would just send you whatever and it was like a little mystery thing if you chose to do like a mystery so i chose to do like a little mystery um like a little mystery bundle so i let her choose whatever she wanted to send me so i do not know if i will be able to uh, um find a link for this um dip powder i will definitely look and see if i can if i can't i'm super duper sorry but um yeah so that is the story behind this green dip powder um the other dip powder is from soul dips i don't know if this one is still available on their website i will also have to check and see if i can find links to a link to that dip powder because um i bought that as like a fourth of, i bought that one in like a fourth of july bundle like almost two years ago <laughs> so hopefully that one is still available on their website as well so uh yeah um i don't really have anything to say about um my dip powder process um i tend to follow um the steps from what is her name on youtube oh sip and dip uh sip and dip with chelsea i usually use what she says um she oh, if you go on her channel she has a whole playlist dedicated to like do's and don'ts of dip powder so that is mainly who i learned to do dip powder from and so with each dip i'm going back just a little bit further and um so i don't contaminate my dip liquids uh, i do brush off um my dip liquid after i do my dip so that way i don't contaminate my dip liquids um i will um link the dip liquids down below uh, like i said i got those from revel nails and i don't really have anything else to say oh and um in the beginning of the video yes i know my ring fingernail did look a little bit dark no it's not fungus or anything i did have on uh blue acrylic on um when before i started doing this set and i didn't file it all the way off because uh, i didn't soak my nails i just filed it as thin as i possibly could so um that is why the tip of my nail was looking kind of dark so no you don't have to comment oh i have fungus on my nails no it was not fungus it was actually just some residual acrylic that was left over um I think I have covered all the bases of um, what I'm doing in this video. So I will just let music play and I will see you at the end of the video.
Now that I'm done with all the di the dipping, <laughs> it's time for the design. Uh, so this stamping plate is, I think it was like Sassy and Chic was the name of it. And y'all, guess where I got this stamping plate from? I got it from Dollar Tree. Yes, this stamping plate came from Dollar Tree. I have been sleeping on Dollar Tree. So I actually go in there now and like look for their stamping plates. I have, I think, Two, maybe three stamping plates from Dollar Tree um I do need to get me some more stamping polishes so oh I, I love this stamping plate I know I said I was going to use the one in the top corner but I changed my mind and I decided to use the one that was in the middle I, I don't know why that one just spoke to me so um I'm using my queen uh black stamping polish and um i'm using my orly uh, what is it i think it's like a sticky base gel or no it's a rubberized base coat that yeah that's what it's called is um the orly rubberized base coat and honestly it was just to make the nails tacky so that way the stamper like i could stamp the design on my nail and y'all i've been getting a little bit i've been getting better at this whole stamping thing like i'm so proud of myself because at one point stamping was not it uh i did learn how to stamp from carol annette yeah she's the one who taught me how to stamp because your girl used to struggle with stamping so yeah i believe she also has a stamping playlist on her channel so be sure to check out those two youtubers um sip and dip and carol annette um if i can i will leave them down their channels down below so now um that i'm done stamping because that's going to be the only nail i'm going to have um a design on uh i'm using my kara sky jelly tip top coat so fun fact i wasn't going to use um a gel top coat i was actually going to use the top coat that was provided in the um in the dip powder kit in my rebel dip powder kit but i accidentally got my top coat closed or well, stuck closed so i couldn't get it open and i tried for like 15 20 minutes to get that thing open and it was not opening so i just said forget it and i just was gonna use a gel top coat um so don't be like me I have to go on YouTube now to figure out how to get my um, dip powder top coat from unstuck, which I'm pretty sure somebody has a video on how to do that. Um, so once I finished um, polishing all my nails with the top coat, I cured it for 60 seconds in my LED UV light. Now that the nails have finished curing, this is what they look like. Whoa, my hand is crusty, dusty, and busted. Like y'all, I think I recorded these nails at like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, my hands were ashy. Um, I didn't feel like um, the gel top coat was smooth enough on the nail with the stamper because I feel like the rubberized base coat has something to do with it. So I just went back in with the second layer. That was it. And I cured that for 60 seconds just to be on the safe side and make sure it was completely cured. And now this is what my crusty, dusty, and busted nails look like. So I'm using some cuticle oil to bring my nails back to life. And of course, to top off the manicure and to make my hands a whole lot less ashy because, oh my gracious, that is just embarrassing. <laughs> But I mean, it's dip powder, so it makes your nails look ashy. So 
please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join the family, and look at little Mylars, and see you next time. Bye!